Retargeting should be the backbone of all of your Facebook marketing campaigns, regardless if you're marketing to generate more leads or if you're marketing for brand awareness. In fact, retargeting ads are one of the main reasons that I'm able to produce such incredible results for all of the agents that I partner with. Because oftentimes I'm able to generate results, in this case real estate leads, for $1 to $2 on average. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how to do retargeting campaigns the right way. Hey, Ataime, if we're just meeting, welcome to the channel that brings actionable content to grow your business through online marketing. So if that sounds beneficial, consider subscribing. Okay, so let's break it down. Retargeting or remarketing or whatever you wanna call it is nothing more than showing your ad to the same person more than once. It's that simple. Don't let marketers, agencies, or anybody else confuse you with fancy words or jargon. It's that simple. That's what retargeting slash remarketing actually is. And in order to make retargeting effective for your business, you need to focus on two core elements. Your first element is your offer. What is is that something of value that you're going to provide the people that you're marketing to. And the second thing is, in what way are you going to retarget the people that saw your ad the first time? So once you have those two elements taken care of, the rest of it falls into place rather simply. So let me give you an example. Let's say you want to get listings, you want to get more sellers, you want to get people that want to sell their home. So now that we have our end goal in mind, we need to determine what's our offer gonna be and also how are we going to retarget those people that see our offer the first time. And you may be thinking, well, why do I wanna retarget those people that saw the ad of the first time and didn't take action? Well, think of your own consumer behaviors. Let me flip that script and ask you that same question. How many times have you gone through a certain place and didn't pay any attention to it? Let's just say it was a new store, it was a new restaurant, it was a new whatever. You went by the first time and you didn't even notice it. And then you went by the second time, the third time, the fourth time, and it wasn't until the eighth time that you actually noticed it and went in. It's the same thing, if not more challenging in the online space. So that's why you have to have the ability to retarget people that see your ads. But I digress. Now we need to create an offer. We need to create a reason for somebody that sees our ad to reach out to us. You can run an ad saying something to the effect of the best way to pay your mortgage seven years faster. So that's the message that you have and then you encourage the audience to click on a link or fill out a Facebook form in exchange for that top way to reduce their mortgage payments by seven years. So you're going to run that ad which I call the anchor ad to the farm that you're farming or wherever you want to get some business from. And some people are going to take you up on that offer and give you their information in return for what you're promising them. And that's gonna be fantastic, but not everybody is going to be that way. In fact, most people will not take you up on the offer the first time, so that's why we have to do retargeting. And that other ad could actually be the exact same ad, except the difference is you're only showing it again to that group of people, that select group of people that showed a level of interest the first time. And this is where Facebook ads comes into play, but more specifically, Facebook custom audiences that's how you're gonna be able to retarget. Custom audiences allow you to show that second ad that you're running only to the people that you specify, only to the people that showed some level of interest. And there's two broad categories when it comes to custom audiences, those that Facebook sources and those that you source for Facebook. And your sources include your website, your customer list, and a few other options that you're gonna see in a couple of seconds. Now, of course, we're not gonna learn everything just by talking about it. We need to actually apply it in real life. So let's head over to the screen share. But before we do that, I want you to pause this video. And then I want you to walk to your kitchen. Wash some dishes while you're there, but just make sure that your favorite mug is nice and clean. Once you have your mug super clean, Go ahead and pour some water into your pot or into a kettle and turn on the stove and place that pot or kettle on the burner. Wait until your water starts boiling. Once it's nice and hot, steamy and everything that you need, make sure that you pour that water into your mug. And then I want you to go over to your pantry and get a tea bag and take that tea bag and then start dipping it into the water. Now remember, that if you're in America, you pour tea into the water. 
and then you're gonna come back to wherever you're watching this video with your hot tea in hand, ready to go, and smash that like button and resume. All right, so the best way to illustrate retargeting ads is by starting out with the custom audiences here on Facebook. So to get there, you just need to go to the tools bar and then go to audiences. It'll bring you right back to where we were just at. And then we're gonna create an audience so you see the options that you have available. Remember, we were talking about sources. We were talking about Facebook sources and then we're talking about your sources. So let's go into Facebook sources and then work our way backwards. So Facebook sources, that means what's actually on Facebook and the, what, the sources that Facebook provides. So you're able to retarget people that have viewed some of your videos. If they watched 10% of it, 25% of it, 100% of it, you're able to retarget those people that showed a level of interest. Now, the lead form, if you're running a lead generation campaign, you know that whenever somebody clicks learn more, they go to a landing page or a form that Facebook provides. Now, not everybody that lands there is going to give you their contact information, although their contact information is already pre-populated. So there are gonna be some people that click and then have no, ha, don't, don't submit their information. So that happens quite frequently. Instant experience, it's a type of ad that you run that's mostly for mobile. Marketplace listings, this was actually added a few days ago. So marketplace listings, these are people that showed and interacted right there. So an audience of people who interacted with your listings on Facebook Marketplace. So as you can see, Facebook has started to add even more. People that, uh, people that interacted with your Instagram business page, events, and then Facebook page. So you have these Facebook sources, meaning people that interacted with whatever, let's just say it was a video, it was a lead form, it was a Facebook page, you're able to capture people's attention. Now, the one that I don't want you to miss in this video, if you learn anything else from this video, I want you to at least create this custom audience, which is your Facebook page. You want to target those people and remarket to those people that have interacted with your page in some capacity because remember, you have to advertise from your business page, which means that the video is there, the lead form is there, the Insta, instant experience is there, marketplace listings, it, everything is from your page, maybe with the exception of Instagram, but basically most of it is is directed from your business page. So you're gonna be able to capture all of these indirectly anyway. But yes, you can get in a little bit more detailed that way, but I don't want you to miss it. At least start out with your Facebook page and then work from there. Now these are Facebook sources. Now check out the sources that we talked about that are your sources, the ones that you bring to the table, which is your website. In order for that to happen, you do need to have your Facebook pixel installed. You hear me harp about it all of the time on this channel. Make sure that you install your Facebook pixel on your website or on your landing pages, anywhere they have the ability to install your pixel. Make sure that you do that because you're able to retarget those people that land on your website but don't give you their contact information. So that way you're still in the conversation. You're still in front of them regardless if they submit their information or not. The customer list, this is a list that you bring to Facebook as well. You upload that. Most commonly, it's gonna come from your database. Now, if you don't have a database, then you have a contact uh, book on your phone. It's probably not a book, but you have your contacts on your phone, so download those and then upload them to your customer list here. Now, something else a very crucial importance is you need to have a business manager in place in order to have access to this, so make sure that you have that. We're not gonna focus on these other two because very rarely does somebody have an app and or um, a brick and mortar store when it comes to real estate, which is what I specialize in. But this is what I'm talking about with that custom audience. So that's that second element that I was telling you about. You wanna have a way to capture those, the attention of those people that saw your ad the first time so then you can bring an, uh, another ad directly to those people without you having to start again and shotgunning your ad to everybody. This way, this is a curated custom audience for you. All right, so let's head over to the audience manager and see how it actually looks like in practice. All right, so here we are in the ads manager where all of your advertising should be going down. And we're not gonna go all the way through and create an ad because this video is long enough. I just wanna show you the mechanics. 
you're going to go to create and then regardless of the campaign that you choose you're able to remarket let me repeat that you're able to retarget and remarket to the people regardless of the objective that you choose and this trips people up the most because i get direct messages asking well should i do i have to use lead generation to remarket well no do i have to use traffic to retarget no notice that i'm using remarketing and retargeting interchangeably so you get into the habit of i guess doing that too which um which isn't the greatest but there we go all right so we're going to continue all right and then this is just the campaign level again so we're going to move me for a quick second and i'll show you where everything comes together remember you already went over and created your custom audience now this is where you pull the custom audience out of your uh, out of your tool belt out of your ads uh, ads account so this is where you're going to go and search for those existing audiences that you created regardless if you did a custom audience for your website for your customer list for your forms for your facebook page for your instagram page wherever it is this is where you go to do that and then notice that we wouldn't really even be touching the rest of them the only other thing that i will suggest whenever you are calling back an audience is to narrow your um of course don't, don't market across the entire united states but narrow it down to your region to your area that you're targeting be generous with it be a little bit more open than when you originally uh ran your ad it's fine so you don't want to over filter your retargeting audience because at that point your audience may not be large enough to sustain uh, another campaign and it'll be suppressed i don't want to confuse the issue but basically what i want to say is whenever you select your custom audience and it starts to get bigger then you can start being a little bit more restrictive with your targeting but early on you can go ahead as an example if you only ran your first ad with uh, with fort worth in mind on your next ad you can expand it a little bit further retargeting the people that showed your that showed interest originally so this is specifically speaking to that retargeting ad so that first ad you can run it to wherever you want this that's something that you already know how to do your anchor ad that ad that goes the beginning and has the uh, the 15 mile radius which is the um, if you're running a special ad category that's what you have to select if you're not running a special ad category then it can be anywhere else but basically the anchor ad is designed to get people that raise their hands willingly there they themselves are sent identifying themselves as potential leads by simply raising their hands some of them are going to give you their contact information from the outset some people are not and that's okay the people that don't give us their information at some point that second time third time fourth time fifth time 12th time they will give us their contact information so don't make retargeting any more difficult than it needs to be do this today and you're going to receive such incredible results and let me know in the comment section when that happens. Well, now that you know how to create Facebook retargeting ads, it's time to generate leads for less than $2. So I'll leave a video right here that's going to help you do that. Also, if you found value today, please be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss another video. But of course, make it your best day yet.